Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So last week, you guys saw me using some garlic oil, and you guys really wanted to know how I made it. This is how I make my garlic jalapeno oil. I use this oil to <laughs> look at my cake in the background. I wanted to show y'all that <laughs> red velvet cake. That uh, recipe is actually coming up. Um, but I use this oil to like coat seasoning, seasoning on meat. I also use it for searing. Uh, you can also use it in marinades if you prefer. You want two jalapenos sliced down the middle and a bunch of garlic. This is like 30 to 40 cloves of garlic. Probably 30, but um, I don't even peel them myself. I buy them peeled because <laughs> no way. I, I never do that. So now I'm just going to add it all to this pot. You want to add enough oil just to cover everything. You don't want to fill the pot all the way to the top. Y'all see my pot how it's old? I have some old pots, y'all. Um, I'm going to be ordering a <laughs> some new pot sets really soon. But y'all know your girl is always busy, always got something going on. Um, you want to use the back skillet where you want to use your weakest stove. If you have a gas stove like I do, use your weakest eye on your, on your stove because you want it to be super low. You don't want to burn the garlic. Um, once you start to see this, this is all you want. If you have anything stronger than this, it's too high. It needs to be turned down to super, super low because you're not trying to sear or burn anything. You're just trying to kind of like poach it in layman's terms. You know, I don't want to use high end terms, high end terms, chef terms, speaking to people who are not chefs. Okay. So, um, so now as everything cools all the way down, this is how it looks. And I'm just going to remove the jalapeno and the garlic from the oil. Alright, so <laughs> I know someone's looking like, wow, this girl didn't just use a slotted spoon or a strainer to get all the pieces out. Y'all, my mind is always all over the place. And I literally stood there and used a fork and picked every last one of them out. Luckily for you guys, you get to skip ahead. <laughs> so now I'm just going to strain out my oil into this bottle. I reuse this bottle. I always reuse uh, my bottles. I don't care if it's plastic, glass. I reuse everything. And I also put a couple pieces of the garlic down in there just to, you know, keep it nice and garlicky. And um, this bottle was just a simple syrup bottle. You can use any bottle, squirt bottle, and you're good to go. Yes, you do need to refrigerate this. I refrigerate mine. All right, so after I refrigerate it, it lasts about 10 days. So, yeah, ready to go and always on hand. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.